Hi, and welcome back to Deacon Michael's Minute. Today, I just want to touch briefly on something that's been on my mind. Uh, a friend of mine gave me a call the other day, and he said that he was a little worried about when Mass is open for the public again, will people want to come back? It's true that our views on Facebook and around the world, uh, online Mass has been very popular. So it seems like that people are desiring Mass, that they desire the sacraments, that they still desire this relationship with God. And this happens throughout the world in different times and places when tragedy strikes or when suffering happens. For instance, during this pandemic, it seems that people really appreciate the Lord a little bit more. And that's not a bad thing. That is, that is a, a wonderful thing, actually. But there is a bit of a danger to it becoming just a, a virtual relationship with the Lord. I'm here in front of the stained glass window of the Sacred Heart. And I think it's very appropriate for this little video because we have to understand that one of the trademarks of what it means to be Christian, what it means to be Catholic, is that God, eternal, with the Father, begotten before all ages as we profess in the creed, became incarnate. He became man in the person of Jesus Christ. He, in his person, he was both God and man, fully human and fully divine. He came into our world to redeem it, and he is our Savior. With this virtual online mass, although they're good and, and, and they're, these, are, these are good things, and we're, we're so glad that you tune in. But I hope that it spurs on a desire to want the sacraments all the more, to come back to, to mass and to receive the Eucharist on your tongue and to consume the Lord Jesus in this most blessed sacrament. One of the things, speaking about the sacraments, one of the, one of the things about the sacraments is that they are so they are so physical. There's such a tactile element to all of our sacraments, and people desire that. I can speak of this especially from being in seminary, but but also in my time before I joined seminary. That Ash Wednesday has always been fascinating to me, because people, Catholics and even non-Catholics alike, they love to come to mass to receive ashes on their forehead. It's it's just amazing not to see how many people come out on Ash Wednesday, and it's not even a holy day of obligation. And I'm not saying don't come, but I mean, it is it is fascinating to see how many people come out for the Ash Wednesday liturgy. Because there's something very elemental, there's something very tactile that we love about the faith, like Jesus becoming man. And he wants to enter into our, our lives and he wants to be a part of it. One of the words that comes to mind is this word Gnostic, which is where we get the word knowledge. We are not a Gnostic faith where it's just, um, it's, you know, you, you're, you have your God, I have my God and my envision of God and, and, and that's okay on both ends. No, 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 that's not it. That's not it. We are not Gnostics. We find our identity within a community. And this is the same for religious things and, and also non-religious venues as well. We find our identity precisely through community is this is the lens that we that we view reality is through the communities that we're born in and that we live in it's always in community there is always a communitarian element and especially to the sacred liturgy and to our faith it's actually called communion when we gather for the eucharist on sundays and other days it's called communion and that is not by accident whatsoever Iron sharpens iron. And so it's like, well, I, I don't really like sitting next to this person or I don't really like, uh, you know, all these people. I understand that. And there's, you know, there, there's, I, I get that. I get that. Having lived in community now for six years in seminary and having roommates uh, in an apartment before college as well, it's not always easy to live in community. But I promise you that we're better for it. As it says in the Bible, iron sharpens iron. And this is so true. Like we... People around us, the people in our lives, make us better versions of ourselves. And this is, this is the same with, this is, this is exactly why we come together and worship together as a community. One interesting fact about uh, worship 
uh, you know, human beings have always worshipped throughout the ages. There's always been this divine reach to God or to an otherness. And we believe as Catholics that that has become, the fullness of truth has come in the person of Jesus Christ to reveal to us the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. If you look at the old Roman temples, they were very, very small. Because it was really only between the priest. All he had to do was go there and make his sacrifices for that day and then leave and, 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 and you're fine. But now we have churches with all these pews. I mean, I'm sitting here in an empty sacred heart, but we have all these pews so that people can fit because we, we worship in community. That's, that's, this, is, this is part of, of, of how we worship. We worship in community. It's, you know, St. Peter's Basilica holds 60,000 people. It's a huge church. There was no Roman temples back in the day that held 60,000 people because it didn't matter. It wasn't about the people worshiping community. It was about the priest, this, this pagan priest offering sacrifices to these gods, small g. And we're just not like that. Pope Francis spoke about this as well recently in, in a homily in like mid-April about how we, this is, we have to endure this for a time, this online mass and this, this uh, digital worship, and, and that's fine, and it's, it serves its purpose now. But I just want to make a plug. I really hope that I see you and that we see you here at Sacred Heart and throughout the world, back at mass, back in the pews, where we belong, where we can worship in spirit and truth, and we can celebrate the mass together in community. And there is still one priest that's offering worship at now an altar for the sake of and on behalf of all of us gathered in the pews. And so I hope that uh, we see you again. Come back to Mass when this is all said and done, when, the, when all this is over. We hope to see you again in the pews because this is where we find our identity and this is where we, we, where we worship uh, in the best way, in, in, in spirit and in truth. God bless you. Have a great rest of the weekend and uh, hope to see you around.